Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now I want to speak on the past of Cam Cohart, first and foremost, R.I.P. Um, most people know him as the baby's out or the guy that fought the baby in the mall, but there's more to him. He's actually a rapper from North Carolina, uh, as well as someone's father, and he's a son. Let's keep that in mind. Now, I wasn't much of a fan of his antics, but I feel we all can learn a lesson from the situation, which is to leave the drugs alone. And on the flip side of that, watch your surroundings at all times. Now, I don't care how cool you think you are. I don't care how cool you think drugs are. Uh, Perks, Molly, E, Zan, Lean, you are not exempt. And I say that because dudes will sit there and try to downplay one drug from the other. Like, yo, this ain't this. Nah, all of them got the same. No, they don't got the same effects, but it got like the same shock value. Like, it's drugs. I don't care what nobody said. And it's not something cool to do, but these guys, these celebrities, these entertainers, they promote it to the youth. And things like this happen. And, um, like I said, man, the times changed because I remember when taking pills and all that stuff was a no no in our community. But here we are. Now, before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you aren't, I swear, I swear, I swear, it's lit here. Make sure you join the Anonymous Gang to stay tuned with all this content. Now, without further ado, let's get straight into it. <clears throat> now, Cameron Devon Hennigan, a.k.a. Cam Cohart, is a North Carolina native who was 33 when he passed. Now, I already found this interesting because, you know, the 33, it raised an eyebrow for me, especially being that all these celebrities are suddenly dying at the age 50 and 33. Um, if you know anything about the Masonic numerology, then you know where I'm going. You know where I'm getting at with this, but I'm going to leave that there because that's a whole nother subject. But that's just something for the ones that are, you know, a little more aware, a little more advanced for y'all to ponder on. Now, Cam Koha is the same guy that we know mostly uh, from the infamous Mall Fight video he had with the baby around two years ago. Now, early on in the baby's career... Uh, this is like the round of time the baby was looked at as like one of them gangster rappers, whatever you want to call them, because he had like two incidents where we knew for a fact that he ended up killing somebody. One was inside the Walmart when a guy approached him and his family when he, um when they was together, and the other one was when someone tried to run down in his house. So he had this whole gangster persona surrounding him. Uh when a situation came about with Cam Kohar in the mall and the baby allegedly beat him up. And I'll say allegedly because he said he did it, but then Cam Kohar said he had a security with him uh, and they jumped him. Now, the sketchy part of that is this. The whole thing was, first, how in the world was Cam Kohar even able to get that close to this man with his security present? And number two, why was this whole altercation prolonged as long as it was with them going back and forth and nothing happened? No security stepped in. Nobody tried to stop it, tried to break it up. Mind you, they are in a big mall. They are in Louis Vuitton. You know what I mean? Then Cam Call had another video where he went back in the mall and spoke with security guards that said they seen two guys jump him, right? But get this. This is another plot twist and it's weird because... It all turned weird about a year later when Cam Kohart came out and said that the whole situation was actually fake. Yeah, he said the baby just used that situation to get clout off his name. And I wouldn't be surprised because of the way the video actually happened. Not to mention that it could have been a PR stunt to promote the baby because he actually, in fact, had an album coming out around that same time. And then right after that happened, he, he put out shirts right after like the next day. Uh, he went on a bunch of interviews, The Breakfast Club. There's a whole bunch of <laughs> this is a whole bunch of stuff. I think Vlad TV. This mad stuff off of that one incident. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna just leave that there because we actually talking about this whole situation with Cam Kohar, and we're not gonna speak too much and elaborate on that situation it's in the past. But we all know that he's mostly known for that situation, so I had to bring it up. Now. 
It's also sad when people don't even know when to say R.I.P. or feel bad because most of his fans feel that he chased clout so much that this could actually be another clout move. And like I said earlier, he did say before that the whole the baby situation was fake. So who's to say the limits he would or wouldn't go? And the more interesting question here is this. If that situation with him and the baby was fake, right? In fact, what did he gain from it? What did he get out of it? Like, what was he promised for pulling through with that whole situation? All right. But other than that, man, it's been reported that he actually overdosed on April 24th, which was this past Saturday. Um, no, he wasn't shot or killed or any of that stuff. They say he overdosed. And if you looked at his videos, it's sort of believable because they're flashing money, lean pills, and, you know, the whole rapper starter kit. Now, his aunt also confirmed his death when she posted on social media, quote, truly going to miss you. And she had his pitch up. Um, It's not 100% official that it was an overdose on his behalf. And they're not going to know that until they get the um, autopsy. You know? Um, She's actually, you know, stating that he was drugged i'm trying to remember here so um y'all bear with me man um like we said no official cause of death has been announced however his aunt uh her name is tia or something like that she speculated that he may have been drugged so when a fan asked you know on social media how he passed she responded we don't know for sure until his, aut his autopsy is done but there is speculation that he was drugged at a club the night before And um, like I said, that's the situation in itself, man. Like we, that's what drugs do. So when I see guys glorifying it, I find it crazy. From all the rappers we lost to lean or, or having seizures, they still do it. Some die in their sleep. They don't even wake up, man. A whole bunch of scenarios that go on when drugs are involved. Now, imagine living life where you took risks, you escaped jail, you escaped being robbed, you escaped your ops, all that. All for you to be taken out by drugs or disease. And part of the disease part, <laughs> that's just something I personally told myself I would be pissed if it ever took me out of this world. Imagine, like I said, you escaping all the all the uh, jack boys, uh, cops. You doing a bunch of dirt. All for you to get taken out this world by disease. Now, on the flip side of that, they said they don't know for sure if he's been drugged coming from a strip club or whatever club he was at. And that's another thing that we got to watch out for, man. Because when you looking like some type of money, these bartenders, these, 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 um... Uh, strippers they prey on that and not even just them just regular uh club goers you see this girl she look good you thinking she's all about you meanwhile she gassing you up the whole time just to drug you up take you home and take all your possessions it happens a lot in miami it happens a whole lot in miami oh my god and not to mention cardi b she actually went on video or live when she first was like new in her career she actually Hold her peace on like yo I used to do that I used to set guys up I used to drug them Take their money I don't care It's actually out there So it happens It definitely happens man And for y'all guys out there Y'all looking like money Y'all doing whatever y'all doing in the streets Y'all gotta be aware of this man Don't take no drinks from no strangers Don't leave your cup My thing is this I always told myself And I tell myself this When I go to a party or anywhere or a social gathering if i leave my cup somewhere by mistake it's staying there i don't care if i just paid twenty dollars for that shot or twenty whatever dollars for that drink if i leave it there by mistake and i leave it unintended it's staying there that's it it's too much going on man in these in these days and time for you to even play with yourself like that so there you have it man um it's been reported that he's been he overdosed some saying that Maybe he overdosed on himself, but his aunt is claiming that he was drugged coming from a club. So it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment box below. Uh, if y'all know anything more than me, let me know in the comment box below as well. And 
Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.